Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to the Adobe XD Daily Creative Challenge. I'm your host, Andrea Hawk. So I hope you guys are all having a wonderful Thursday. How's everyone doing in the chat? We've got Cindy, Rakesh, Jack, Eva, Tim. How's it going, guys? Hope you guys are excited for our second to last Daily Creative Challenge today. So let's run to the finish line strong, all right? So we've only got two more left. So let's go ahead and head on over to behance.net slash challenge slash XD, and we can dive right in and get started. So you can no longer um, register with this big blue button up there, but you can join us on Discord um, to check out the next week's challenge. That'll be starting on Monday. So feel free to head over there if you wanna see any updates. Um, you guys know how it works by now. Each day you receive a challenge. Be sure to join us on Discord. We've got lots of great conversations going on over there. And of course, watch our daily live show every day at 11.30 Pacific time to watch me or whoever our host is uh, design the Everyday's Daily Creative Challenge. And lastly, be sure to share your work on Discord and Behance with that keyword XD Daily Challenge so we can give you some feedback. So let's scroll down, see what we've been working on. Um, we've been busy, guys. You guys have been busy. I've been checking out all of your Behance um, projects and on Discord. So really awesome job so far. Keep it up. So today what we're going to work on is advanced prototyping, which basically means you can kind of do whatever you want <laughs> for the uh, theme. But I'm going to focus on hover. So what I want you to do is design a mobile app for finding local events. And we're going to focus on the calendar view, allowing your users to hover over a date and receive event details. So I'm going to focus on hover. Um, if you want to try some other sort of prototyping, you're welcome to do that as well. But making a calendar event. So if you'd like, you can click that get started button to uh, head over to Dropbox and you can get the starter file by pressing direct download. So that just has some resources and uh, assets to kind of get you started. And of course, if you missed any of these, you can rewatch by hitting the watch video button. And if you'd like, you can subscribe to be notified about all of our new challenges. So every two weeks we have a new host and a new set of challenges. So you can sign up to get notified for that. And if you're not a member, uh, Discord, you can click there to join. So this is Discord. Um, we've got about 26,000 you guys. Uh, if you want to check out what the live stream schedule is, you can check that out in this channel or see what the daily creative challenge prompts are. You can check in this one. Um, and if you'd like to get feedback on all of your work, you can submit that in any of these three. So either on the current challenge or any of the past challenges or anything else design related in Design Other. So feel free to click around in Discord, um, check out, see what everyone else is working on. Um, yeah, you guys have been posting a ton lately. This is awesome. Love seeing your prototypes. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump right into that starter file. I already have it downloaded here. So again, this is day eight. Wow, this is flown by. This is crazy. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Everyone's just saying, hi, hello, hello. <laughs> yeah, almost Friday. Happy Thursday. I agree with you, Richard. Okay, so like I mentioned, we're gonna be uh, designing a, well, I'm actually gonna not be designing a mobile app. Um, I'm gonna do a desktop app instead, because I realized since I wanted to do hover, um, that you can't hover on mobile. So if you wanna do hover, I recommend just switching it out from mobile to a desktop website. But, you know, feel free to mix up if you'd like. And then down here, I've got some inspiration. I've actually never used any of these apps, but I thought it might just help you spark some ideas. So this one, IRL Social Calendar, kind of looks similar to um, like the Google Calendar app where you have the illustrations for each month. And then you can kind of see an overview of what each event is. And then Eventbrite. Um, you know, it looks pretty similar to most like event apps. So you see a little picture if you want, um, see like the title and some more details. Gravy events, interesting name for an app. Um, yeah, just, you know, you can share, like, and they have little icons next to each category. You can add something like that. 
Avensi, this is another one. This one I think is a little um, hard to read the text because the photo is in the background. I try not to put text over photos usually, but um, yeah, you can just use those for inspiration if you'd like. And then we've got some resources down below. So of course, places to find tutorials, some places where I get icons and photos and mockups and such. And then when you're done, share on Discord and Behance. All right, so let's dive in. So I only have one artboard today and that is because we are going to use the new hover feature, which previously, if you wanted to do a bunch of prototyping, you had to have like maybe six different artboards. But with this one, I'm just gonna have one artboard and do all of my prototyping within it. So I'm gonna show you how to do that hover. So on the left side here, I just want to show like an overview of the calendar and be able to, you know, hover over any of these dates if I want to and maybe see like a drop down or like a pop up next to that date, just giving some more detail about like each event that's on that date. And down here, I'm just going to add some illustrations that I found on um, Adobe Stock. I wanted something autumnal because I'm going to be doing an autumnal local events theme, so with the green. And then on the right side, I wanted to leave this for either searching for your events or um, seeing like all of the list view of each of the events. So this side's more for overview and this side is for the details, sort of. Okay, so let's get started. I have um, a little component here that I want to add. So I'm gonna use the repeat grid on this. Just wanna put this just in the center here. And this is what each kind of detail view of each event will look like. So maybe November 1st has like three events. So I'll just use the repeat grid, drag this down to like three. I think I probably only have room for like five. So maybe I'll have another date here. Give this some space. Let's see what you guys are saying in the chat. Hello, everyone. Lots of emojis. I love it. Um, okay. And I just did corn maze for the first one, but I want to change that out. So let me, let's copy this. And then we'll just have two below. Bring that repeat grid up a bit. Um, okay, so this will be November 2nd, let's say. And let's make this a little shorter actually and just copy all that and I want to make sure it's kind of centered a little bit better just the details you know okay now I'm going to ungroup the grid um, because I want to be able to edit all of these separately without affecting everything else in the repeat grid so just double click in there actually that one will leave corn maze this one what are some like autumnal things you do? I'll say um, pumpkin patch or actually haunted house. That's a better one. I think I've been to a haunted house one time. Never again. I just, I do not like scary movies. I don't like anything scary. <laughs> so that's not for me. Um, this could be like, I'm just um, adding the keyword. So let's say activity. I don't know. And then this is the location in the little rectangle. So let's say there's a place in St. Louis called Lemp Mansion that is an actual haunted house and you can actually sleep there. You couldn't pay me to do that. I would never, <laughs> but yeah. Okay, so let's change the color of each of these. I've already got some colors just picked out. So this one will be green. And let's say this has an admission of like $10. And that's like the days that it's open. And then if you wanna see more info, you can just click on the little um, three dots. Apple picking, that's a good idea, Richard, thank you. Apple picking. And we'll say this is from like 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. And Oh, what's a name for STL Farm, <laughs> since I'm in St. Louis? Name that. And this can be 
our like brownish color. I just wanted to use like leaf sort of colors. Okay. And then I'll do these November 2nd ones. So this one can be maybe a football game, sporting event. And let's say this is at like STL Stadium. Getting real creative with these names. <laughs> um, let's make this, I'll keep this one yellow and I need to ungroup this grid so I don't change all the colors. And then the last one, um, let's see. What's another one? Pumpkin picking? It's kind of similar to ap apple picking, but pumpkin patch. Okay, and this we can just change the time. That looks good. And change the color to maybe this lighter green. I'm trying to stay in the greens and browny yellow colors. All right, and then below that, we've just got our left and right through the pages. Make sure that's centered. Okay, now I'm going to focus on this area over here. So again, I wanna hover over any of these and then see sort of a pop-up come up to see more of the info. So I want to copy, I just have this um, little square sort of drop down already created. Um, it has a drop shadow and then for the center, sometimes I like to add an extra little drop shadow so it looks like it's kind of curving. So this is an extra, it's just blurred a little bit, a little bit of opacity, and it just helps it look like it's kind of rounded a bit. A little, it just adds to the drop shadow. So I'm going to copy some of this text, paste it in here, and on the fifth we'll say there's a corn maze. And I will change just the size of the text a bit. And then we'll say, give it some details like date, time, and location. And make this a bit smaller. There we go. And then below that, I just want a little description of what the event is about, in case you don't know what a corn maze is. <laughs> Um, let's see, fun for the whole family. Takes about 30 minutes, I'll say half an hour. It's a long maze, I guess. And I want this to be completely white. Make it a little bigger. Will that fit? Yeah. And then let's add in the date, time, and location. Whoops, copy that. Um, the date will just say November, or like September through November. The time will say eight, oops, eight o'clock a.m. to five o'clock p.m. And location, Eckert's farm. That's an actual like farm in St. Louis that you can go pick apples and there's a pumpkin patch and stuff. Very cute. Okay. Could probably finesse that a little bit better, but it looks fine. Okay. So we have the drop down, but now I also want to add like a circle or some sort of indication that this five is actually selected. And we know that this drop down is correlated with that. So let's go ahead and make this a component. And you'll notice um, now this changed to a green rectangle and it says component master. So that means that any other instance that we have of this, we need to update this one. So all of the rest of the components will be updated. So the master, that's the one we're looking at. Right now this is the default state when it's not hovered on. So we just need to press the plus button and say hover state and then we can change the hover state. So let's add a circle, just like the same sort of bluish color that we have for these left and right arrows. And we can put it inside here 
send it to the back and let's change the color of the five. Okay, so now it looks like it's selected and, oh, thank you. Um, Ryan said space before PM, good call. <laughs> it's in the details. Okay, so let's select this and same thing, we can put this inside that group or that component. So when we go back to our master over here, this section, when we go to default, it looks like, you know, nothing's hovered over. And when we go to hover state, that's what it'll look like. So you could go through each one of these uh, numbers and add that component, add the dropdown. I'm obviously not going to do that for all of these, but you get the idea. It's a fun little thing. And then I'm just going to add some little illustrations at the bottom. Um, it makes it a little, little fun and, you know, also it helps fill up some of the space over there. <laughs> when in doubt, add an illustration. So let's just mask this. So I got this from Adobe Stock, if you were wondering. They have some great little just like watercolors and um, just like things that would be a nice little accent in a mobile app or a website. So this felt like it fit very well. Let's add some little acorns. Just using the pen tool to go around and mask this out so we don't have to see the rest of this. You could just crop these in Photoshop too if you want, but it's a little easier just to do this. Some acorns and Let's see what else. I like this little fur piece or pine. I don't know what, what kind of leaf that is. <laughs> I think it's pine. Mask that. Um, for the masking, I'm using the uh, shift M, shift command M. Sometimes I have to think about what the shortcuts are because I just do it so fast and I don't really think about it. Make this a little bigger and bring this forward. And another little trick, if you wanted to make these like a little pattern in the background or something, you could use um, one of the blending modes. So like darken would be good or overlay. Might be kind of neat to try something with that. And then let's just add one of the little leaves. I'll add one of these. Just going in with my pen tool. Select those and mask it. Rotate that around a bit. Just add like two or three of these. Very autumnal. Fitting with all of our local events. Okay. Make this a little bit bigger. Cool. Um, okay, so that looks good. I will select all of those little images, group them together, command S to save. Now let's go ahead and hop on over into the prototype mode. And again, this is only one artboard, so it makes things super easy. And I'm already, I just wanna see that drop down, that little hover. So I'm gonna go into the play and all you have to do is hover over. And look at that, we've got our little drop down that gives us some more details. Um, so feel free to, if you want to add a few of those, that would be really nice, you know, maybe on the 5th, the 15th, whatever, just to flex your, your XD skills a little bit. So that was a fun one. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and hop on over to Behance. So again, I already have this started. Um, make sure that you go into your settings and you go over to that discoverability tab and add the keyword XD daily challenge so we can find your work. And I believe I already have this saved in here. I do not. Um, I will add that after just because I want to add a prototype and that takes a bit longer to upload. So now let's go ahead and look at some of you guys' work. So I'm gonna search XD daily challenge. Let me refresh to see if there's anything new. Whoops. We'll look at projects and then I'll go to most recent. Wow, you guys are just 
really pumping these out. So many. Okay. Um, I want to look at, let's just do this first one. So this one's by Dan. Hello, Dan, if you're watching. And this was the one from yesterday, day seven, about the emoji um, pop-up, multiple interactions. Showing the mock-up. Awesome. And let's see. Ooh, look at that beautiful mock-up. Used Rotato, it looks like. Maybe? No, I think it's static. Okay, so we see the pop-up of the emojis. We got the drag left and right. Awesome. And the slider. That looks so good. Good job. That was very smooth. Really good job on the animation there. Awesome job. That was Dan. Let's look at another one. That was from a creative jam. Um, this one is Mandy. Awesome. Oh, it sent me to the, okay. So here is the prototype. So I think this was the one from day one. Let's see what we got. Ellie, the cat. Nice job. So we've got the drag left and right and the uh, tap to go into detail view. So multiple interactions there. Let's see that again. Nice job. Looks great. And then close it. Great job, Mandy. Let's see another one. This one is by Gemma or Gemma. Sorry if I'm butchering that. Um, this one was day two of our challenge. This was the scooter or bike app. All right, let's look at the prototype, see what we got. Got a little message. Oop, that was too fast. So this is easy ride. Okay, so we click on one of the ones on the map. Drag left and right paper minute and then unlock. Yeah, the UX looks great here. Ooh, love the confetti. So cute. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, that looks so great. Let me see that again. It's kind of fast. Swipe through. Yeah, great job. The buttons are a little bit big. I might make those a tiny bit smaller just compared to the text. Great job there. Thank you for sharing. Um, what day was this? Let's look at this one. Another cycle app. This one was by Dan. Let's see. I love when you guys show like your whole process, showing the project proposal. You got the colors, the fonts, really going above and beyond. I didn't even do that. Even the wireframes. Wow. This is awesome. Okay. So explore. We got the mock-up. Hire on the go. Time and pay. Oh, that's nice with the little slider. Choose your time. It's a good idea. And then you have a release code. Okay, let's see the prototype. Awesome. Okay. It's a little hard to see at the 45 degree angle, so I would recommend if you're doing a prototype, like the, the mock-ups are great for just static. Um, kind of like a visual pleasing like header, but if you're doing a prototype, it's a little hard to see all the interactions at that angle. Ooh, that looks nice, that slider. And then the button updates too. Great job on that. Ooh, and that auto animate. Awesome. And then enjoy your ride. Wow, that one was really great. Good job, who was that? Dan, I've been doing a good job. All right, guys, that is about all the time that we have left today. I'm excited to see what you guys come up with. So thank you all so much for joining and stay tuned. In about five minutes, we've got Rosina Bosco and she'll be creating a recipe organization website and stay tuned for our last challenge tomorrow at 1130 Pacific time. I'll see you guys there. Bye.